No signs. Hi, right, welcome to Leave me alone. Uh, welcome to Will's Arteria. Uh, I'm going to be playing with some of my stuff that I got for Christmas. One of the things I got was a multiple colored writing pencil. Before our internet went down, um, which was when I started playing with this, uh, um, I had sharpened my purple. And maybe focus. I guess. Um, but it writes in twelve different colors. And I just started with cray paws. And that's what I did my 4H picture with. How many of you can guess which color I used the most? Oh, oh there they all go. Oh, um, no. Uh, hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, this one. <laughs> the the most obvious color because it's almost a stub. The other one's good. Ah, there it is. Alrighty. But yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> the the green was the one I used the most because I needed me needed it for grass and uh oh. when they fell to show you how oily they are, look, I have pretty colors on my paper. Um, that's just how soft they are. They can fall and just draw on them on their own without me uh, having to make them uh, or hold them to draw. Um, uh, one thing you can do with the cray paws is uh, rub with like a Q-tip or something soft. A piece of fabric will do. Uh, but we're gonna go down to the drawing can. <laughs> What I was saying about smearing is, say this is, like, um, I wanted, wanted it to be softer, take your Q-tip, and you can smear that around, and the base color of it is still black, but, um, on where I colored. Uh, but you can smear around and it'll take the texture of the paper. It's good for when you're drawing a steam or you're drawing a fire. When you take the black and you just do little swirls for smoke. You know, I'm going to start it. Oh, yes, you can. See? You can also do that with your finger. See? But it, when it's fresh, it'll make your finger turn black, but it's already been pre-smeared, so... See? Makes your finger turn black. Um... I, I prefer the Q-tip 
because it picks up color and you more color than uh, than your finger. So, but your finger makes nice little swirls if you're doing a a light smoke in the background. See, it's just barely dark right there. Um, pick up some more color, rub, and you can also clean your finger that way. Um. See, um, but personal colors are are really nice because you can. Uh, yes, yes, it is. Uh, Prisma colors are nice because you can. Uh, maybe it'll focus, but. Focus. Wow. Okay. Um. Focus. Focus. Yay! It focused. Finally. Oh, this my mom got creative with my needle eraser. Uh, she made it into a uh, little barrel. Not a booger. Not until it's green. Um. Hmm. Hmm. The house smells good. Da my dad's bacon brownies. Let's see. I. I guess you could say it's a really shiny marshmallow. See. It shines. It's sparkly. It's sparkly. It's sparkly. Um. Oh, y'all haven't seen my collection of, I was going through my art pencils, and here, this part right here, is just all sketching pencils. And here is my brushes. These are my dry apply. These are for applying dry stuff. Uh, because I've used them on dry stuff and I can't seem to get the powder out. So, and here's my charcoal pencils. Again, uh, another thing to use for blending. This is good for blending pencils. Pen different pencil shades. Uh, charcoal pencils. Uh. Yeah, the charcoal pencil always seems to, uh, really? uh, a charcoal pencil seems to always be, be softer than normal. There we go. All right. A charcoal pencil is really a softer pencil, or a softer lead. Um, it just depends on what you're drawing, on what type of lead you want. Like, I like drawing cartoons, so this, uh, like cartoon faces or something like that. Uh, I would prefer my charcoal pencils a lot more. Because you can control them a little better. Oh, y'all can't see that upside down. Yeah, they're, they're also a dark pencil. Like drawing a, a shoulder down picture. Oh, of course, it needs hair. Ah. Uh. 
Um, yeah, I've had a lot of practice drawing people. Oh, Did I, would I clean my fingers in between smudging? No, I just use a different finger. Uh, between smudging, you just use different fingers. If you run out of fingers, use the other hand. <laughs> it's, it's always fun. Art's fun. Sorry, I have background effects. Um, but oh, that's the buzzer for the brownies. Beep. Um, but then you can come in and what? Hi. I can. <laughs> Uh, uh, what if you run out of nose and toes? Hmm. Um. Since I'm going to Tarleton this on the weekend of my birthday. Because it's it's a merit badge seminar is what I'm going to. Uh, so, man, I forgot how to. But uh, since I'm going to the merit badge Tarleton merit badge seminar, that's the. Uh, Carlton T. And um, I might, you know what? Speaking of drawing, oh, that's my sample. Um, all right. These sketch pencils are tightly bound in there. It took me five minutes to get them into that little loop. No, it's not time for a bath after you use all the extremities of your body. Then you start using Q-tips. Uh, it took me five minutes to get all these into that little loop. <laughs> I sat there and, oh, look. Hey, yeah, I need to put these in there. Um, because it wouldn't fit into my pencil bag that I got for Christmas. These would, but all my other pencils would. And I was hoping if I, if I could transfer over to that, I would use that, but. Instead, I'm using my big, big pencil bag. Um, what what my uh, brushes are for is for a... Oh, my mind just went blank. Uh, what you call them? Uh, it's... Chalk, yeah, chalks. Chalk pastels. Um, that's what I was using these for, and I can't get the chalk out of, the chalk stuff out of them. So, like, one of them probably has some green. Yeah, see? It's got, it's still got some green in it. That's why that brush is green. See, the tip of it is still green. It's, and it, and that's what was left in there. I, I've run it underwater, but the tip still stays green. So, um, to start a picture, the picture that I'm going to draw 
It's probably gonna be a train, or it could be a truck. Either one. Um, but what I'm gonna do, um, is, wait, I don't want to start with that pencil. You don't want to start with it soft. You want to start. Oh, I got it. All right. The this pen, but the this pencil is a uh, Reeves, and this is one I. This is a new. This is one of my new drawing pencils. Hi, Papa. These are one of my new drawing pencils. Yeah, it's a pretty black, I know. But, uh, I got one, two, three, four. I got four of them. With, it, it's not really a wide selection, but they're the soft down, it's HB down to 6B, which is a medium to really soft, um, but I have more, I have at least three 6Bs here. One, uh, there's an HB. Yep, I have one, two, here, see? Three different brands of 6B pencil. I can't really, I don't really remember what. Oh! This is Ma, or uh, Stead, Stedler. Stedler, Reeves, and Toysendor. Whatever that is. Uh, but the three. 6B and I, and anything lower than that. Only one. This is the only re or stellar that I could find. Um, because it's the one I use the most. Um, but I'm gonna use one of my new pencils. Hmm. Imagine that the the on my first show I said it's all you always want want to keep the lead sharp. Weird. Okay. Uh. Uh. Hold on. There's more than one way to sharpen it. You don't have to use a hand sharpener or an electric sharpener. You can always use a. If you're out in the wild, in, in the middle of nowhere, and you, and all you have is a pencil and a piece of paper. And your knife, and you want to send a letter, and you have changed to buy an envelope. You can. Uh, yeah, take drawing supplies when you go camping because it's there's a pencil could uh no. Um, but what you could do is write a letter to a friend saying where you're at. It's even better to keep a pencil and piece of paper in your pocket. Even if that paper's been written on already, it still can get you out of a tough bind. Um, right now, I, I'm starting with an HB. My HB. My new HB. I, I don't know how to pronounce the brand name. Uh, oh, come on. This is the last thing I need. This is meter Um, let's try this. Uh, 
Okay. Hey. Focus. Well, I'll start drawing. Maybe it'll decide it wants to focus. 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 Ha ha. All right. I guess that tire's too big. No. Tire's a wee bit big. So, um. Um. I'm on the race, race. Um. The. Yeah. That's one good thing about knives is that you can sharpen a pencil with them and oh man oh there it is um the good thing about the Ah. Bad. Uh. I've sharpened my pencil with my knife many times and let's see. There's what do you mean? Ours is nice and sunny outside, Fab. I mean four four inches is like maybe as big as my hand. <laughs> e um I I really couldn't estimate on on how warm it is out here. It's it's nice. Huh? It's about 60 here.
maybe I can draw. Oh, I'm not sure if I need it. Maybe. maybe. Erasure, let go. Um, trying to fix this tire. It seemed odd shaped because I'm thinking in Canada they got a little more than four inches of snow because forgot where, but they they had a big snowstorm. And I think in one of the states up here. What do you mean? What do you mean it's the wrong size tire? Aw, oh, man. Tomatoes are good to grow. Grammy, what do you mean by it's the wrong size tire? I hope we won't get a frost. Or um, Oh, ha ha ha, very funny. Um, <laughs> trailer or no trailer? What do you mean stringing buttons on to yarn is making you crazy, Fab? Fab, you are crazy. Just... Ah. No, hail's not good. I really... Yeah, same here. Oh, we don't have the squirrel problem like y'all do the here, there, Grammy. But the uh, 
Heat got ours. Ah. Uh. Yes, 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 y'all do. <laughs> Amanda, I'll send you a slingshot. I'll help, uh, I'll help you by sending you a slingshot and some paintballs. You'll need a dog, Amanda. You'll really do. Seems like Labrador Retrievers never run out of energy. Alright. <sighs> oh, that's right. Y'all have a, Amanda has a booga. I think the, I think the booga would go here, kitty, 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 <laughs> and the and the cat would run away. <laughs> Cat, if after that night, the cat would probably be scared to come back again. And no, no other cats would come. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yeah. Love you and squeeze you and name him George.
Um, you did that. Um, yeah, then I'd feel sorry for the cat. I'd feel really, really sorry for the cat after that. Uh. Another good thing about Q-tips is that they're flexible, and so you can. Uh, right now, I'm trying to even out the color. That's not good. Let's see. To the Prisma colors. Amanda, to help you with the cat, I'd send you a slingshot and some paintballs.
To aim with the slingshot, you aim with the top bar. <laughs> ha ha! What? Oh yeah, while holding, it, while holding it sideways. Um. <laughs> evil plan. Like I said about chalk pastels, the the uh, stuff left over from the sandpaper, sharpening my pencil with the sandpaper made some uh, light chalk uh, chalk pastel type stuff. After you shave a chalk pastel, you know how it's real powdery. I have powder. Oh, uh, my brush isn't really. What I'm doing is I'm using my pencil to hold the green and I'm shaving off the pencil and I'm using, oh y'all can't see what I'm doing, I'm painting the grass. Ah uh, man, does he have a co timeout corner? Cause at Camp Billy Gibbons we have a timeout rock. is at, at my campsite that we're at. Um, see, what I'm doing is I'm using this to make some, like, it, it's almost like a, pow a powder pastel texture. It doesn't make as strong of a color as a pastel, but it'll get a base started. See? Making powder. I'm making my own chalk pastel see now it's a little brighter because I'm going over it for a second time The reason I'm putting it 
not putting it direct, like tapping it directly onto the paper. It's because it'd make a really dark spot, and I'm trying to make it even. Um. So I'd pick it up with my brush and. The good thing about this brush is it's a softer brush. And so it'll pick up the powder really easily. It's like... So... Brown. Um. <laughs> yep. What? And model railroading, you can do this for weathering train cars, but uh, um. I got I got some chalk pastels for my. For Christmas, uh, so um, those are for uh, their modeling colors. In model railroading, you would normally shave it off with your hobby knife, but the sandpaper makes it finer than uh, than what a hobby knife would do. Or a... really, the sandpaper is every modeler's dream, because <laughs> you uh. You'll need it when you're working with plaster cloth. And and working with uh your plaster molds. And yeah, you can stipple it on too. This brush really isn't for stippling. Um, and for really, 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 really fine details, there's a brush like that.
Yeah, the sandpaper will make it finer, is basically what it does. It makes it finer than, or what What we're talking about is craft, yeah, uh, but what a craft knife is, is basically an X-Acto knife. There's also chalk pastels like this. Um, see, well loved. I got Yeah, the sandpaper is nice in most in a lot of occasions. Uh What are you doing? I needed a darker green. That's like my chalk pastels. I needed a darker green. Here, I was bringing you one of these to borrow. Thank you. This is the X-Acto knife. Actually, it's an Excel knife. Or an Excel knife. Hmm. So I'll get the memo request later for borrowing my pastels. May I borrow your pastels? Yes, you may. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I think perhaps he needed that color. I like the truck, by the way. Thank you. Oh, another thing you can do with chalk pastels is use a Q-tip. And it'll, it, it has a darker color, but it's also softer than a brush. Um... Oh yeah, you can also use pom poms. Pom poms and gator clip will always do it too. Hey, no, my pencil, my my brush fell. I was gonna say my pencil brush fell, and I'm like, no, that that, that wouldn't sound right. Um. I'll show you the difference between a craft knife shaving and a um and why don't you do that like on a piece of paper so oh. just on the table. There. Uh. Have some paper. Okay. All right, the difference between a craft knife shaving and sandpaper shaving. All right, here's a craft knife shaving. See how grainy, or it's, it's got a lot more chunk to it. Um, and the sandpaper.
Basically what I'm doing is act using the sandpaper like a cheese grater. Alright. Now. Look at the difference. This is exacto. This is sandpaper. Sandpaper. And your exacto. Um, I would go with the sandpaper. It almost looks like flocky. But when you put them side to side and scrape them up really, you can't tell the difference. But you can separate them by size. That's one thing you can do. Yeah, you can tell which is which, but, uh, you can take, uh, your gator clip, take a pom-pom, clip it in your gator kit, and you can, and it dip it into your color it'll pick it up it's really not playing nice, but okay is it still not dark enough? no it's it's moving all my stuff that I already have oh. so I said it's not really playing nice with it that's fine okay anything else? nope I'm good one thing about the brush is that you can put layers of it on and it won't move. This is moving it around. I found that out because when I was starting to do circles, I'm like, why is the color lightening up? It was moving the chalk pastels around. So you can simply fix that by adding some more of the same colors. Um, and to go into finer detail, hmm, imagine that, this needs to be sharpened, okay, uh, you can do the same thing, but instead of using, doing the cheese grater, you can make it sharp, you can sharpen it, um, to go into finer detail, um, but, kind of. Yeah, it, it's, if you've ever felt flocking, and then felt a pencil shaving, like the lead shavings, that's that's basically the difference. It's like it's like baby powder to uh like um, it's hard, uh kind of like the texture of a pom pom pom-pom to uh, baby powder. Those are like, uh, but to go into finer detail with it, you can take the pencil and draw little sprigs of grass. Those are flocking. Alrighty. Here's what flocking is. Um, it's even softer than the shavings.
it's almost like powdered fuzz is basically what it is. It's like if somebody um, trimmed the fuzz off the pom pom. All right. Now pencil or this is flocking to the shavings. Yeah. Well, it's still up. Look out. Flocking to pencil shavings is a lot softer. The flocking gets even softer. It's like it's like he cut the hair off pom pom. Trying to see if it fits. I guess. Come on. There. See. See, it's real fuzzy. It's almost like eraser shavings. Whereas this is more, more like rubble. More grain like. Okay. But they both have this is two different colors, so that's not going to adhere unless you put something on there. I know. Okay. I'm just trying to sweep it off to the side. Chalks, More chalks! No, fudge. Grammy says she keeps getting kicked out. She's here, but she's kicked out again. No, you should. Your stream is kicking Grammy out. Wow! Ustream's being temperamental today. Bad Ustream, bad. Yeah. Um. Um, there's many different colors of flocking, uh, as you see, even hot pink flocking, and white flocking, which is almost, it, it looks a lot like snow. I'm not. I know a place where I can get my own flocking. It's not far from Gravy's. <laughs> um. Yep, that's my drawing. What color do y'all want the truck? I do have neon orange. I don't want to do a pink truck. Red truck. Gotcha. You know what's even more fun? Red pastels. What's good about red pastels is that you don't have to color all the way to the edge. So, like up here in this small area, I could probably put a line right there of good thickness. And that, that part would be done. Alright, that's how you would normally color it with. That's not how you would normally color it, but since we have magic. Uh, no. You can also spread it around with, uh, no. 
you know, it doesn't want to spread with that. Okay. Um, you can. Hmm, weird. Okay, I might need a little more color there. Uh, doesn't seem to want to pick up. Ah, oh, I don't have much red on there. Uh, that's a hard question. Can you move them after you apply them? Uh, what are you talking about? Don. You mean the art pastels? The. The, um. Yeah. No, no, she's talking about the cray paws. Uh, yeah, you can. No, like, she means move them out to the middle of the picture like I'm doing. Like, what I'm doing is, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it's not hard to, but it's just the, what, what the Q-tip does is it picks up the color and the fibers of the Q-tip, and, uh, that's what it does. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Yep, y'all can see it. Okay, um Where I circled, I gotta be careful because I put some white in there and I can't really see the edge of it. Um, there it is. Okay. One way to find out is when the blue turns really, really light. 
especially the blue that I'm using. Do the Q tip. Okay, um, um, Probably. Oh, I'm, I'm getting some stuff, uh, reorganized down here. Um, I was feeling a little crowded. There's my blue key tip. One thing about this is that if you have a sharp point, is that you can draw in it, in, in the oil pastel.
if y'all can see it, the, uh, there's a fine li white line right there, and that's where the page is scored to be torn off. <sighs> push it, 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 push it. This is a good workout for your fingers. When I was little, I used to play with Legos to work to work on the muscles with my fingers. I still do play with Legos, but just because I like them. See you morning glass or dawn. Yeah, I'm still streaming. No, I really can't. Um,
That's the picture. Right here. Thank you. Already. Thank you, Grammy. Thanks for staying with me. I'm going to stop recording.